Good morning, people. Watch them at 65. Lisa Boyce, conditioning treatment time. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins. Past, present, future was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. When you put your faith and trust in Christ, not only are you saved, but you're justified by the blood of Jesus rapture ready and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend and the Holy Spirit will change you. Um, the People's Liberation Army, preparations in China. This is off of War News 24-7 are preparing for the worst in Ukraine. So the U.S. aims to defeat and disintegrate Russia while the U.S. aims to disintegrate Russia. Now this is escalating. It's been escalating, but it's escalating even more. Now, hmm, I just found this out a few minutes ago. I didn't know that the government was headed for a shutdown this week. There is a government shutdown looming, October 1st. I had no idea about that. So now, you got this going on, and you got everything else going on. So, this article right here is saying that the worst case scenario of an armed conflict in Ukraine is ahead of us. Warns China emphasizing that the goal of the U.S. is not simply Russia's defeat in the war, but its disintegration so that America can increase its influence in the Eurasian uh, area. That makes sense, actually. The mouthpiece of the Chinese Communist Party, Global Times, which echoes his views, emphasizes that Countries must prepare for the worst case scenario in Ukraine. Now, you got Putin putting an ultimatum by the end of this week. And you also have a government shutdown that's scheduled by October 1st. This is all happening this weekend, coming up. Do I think the government will shut down? Probably not. They'll come up with something. It's never a shutdown. They'll come up with something. They always do. But what's funny is that the time frame of both of these are at the basic same time. So that's what I find coincident. Uh, well, it's not a coincidence, but you know. Um, let me see. Countries must prepare for the worst case scenario in Ukraine. Sorry about that, I had to sit up a little bit. But anyway, on RT earlier, Zelensky admitted Putin is not bluffing. And if you also look on RT, you will see how much money the US has given Ukraine. It's insane. So this goes on to say, um, in more detail, the Chinese newspaper Global Times point out that the clear goal of the U.S. is to defeat Russia at whichever way they can. As the publication reports, political scientists who participated in a poll conducted by the newspaper estimate that there is no signs of de-escalation of the conflict between Moscow and the West in the near future. 
stressing that parties related to Ukraine, to the Ukrainian crisis, should prepare for the worst scenarios, as the U.S. goal appears to be clear. Now, let me point out something else. You have this going on right now. You have Iran, who God only knows what's going on with them. Their number one goal is to defeat Israel and take the West out of the way and everything else out of the way. You have a major storm brewing, hurricane. Not only that hurricane, but you got another major storm brewing with the financial markets. Everything tanked, is tanking right now. This just came off of how uh, Turner earlier. And it is true, the markets are free falling globally. The British pound sterling currency has plunged 500 pips to a record low value of $1.03 in absolute carnage of foreign exchange reserves. And there's a chart here. The beginning of the end is finally here. The GBD, uh, the GBP is down 23%, um, worse than most third world countries. The GBP USD is sitting right at support levels from 1984. Uh, the Chicago Mercantile, the CME, has halted training in the GBT futures. Bond prices are uh, cratering. Now, this was earlier this morning. Bond prices are cratering. Currencies are cratering. So Moscow, Russia's stock exchange just dropped 9.2%. In London, the Financial Times stock exchange just hit 69.62 and going down. The Canadian dollar dropped 60 cents this week in historic low. Folks, things aren't... Hmm. If you honestly think that things are going to get better, then you're delusional. I'm sorry, but you are. This is headed for a downslope, big time. And the thing of it is, is that you have got to get on board with Christ. And I don't mean yesterday. There's another article in RT, or, uh, War News. There's another escalation that's going on right now. Turkey summons Greek ambassador demanding end militarization of islands right now. So this is a Turkish Erdogan ultimatum. The tension of the uh, Aegean escalates even more with Turkey officially protesting to Greece and the USA about the deployment of American armored vehicles in their regions. Things are breaking out everywhere. Everywhere. I haven't, I have not seen the likes of such ever. So now this article goes on to say, but Russia's goal is quite clear. Having nuclear weapons, who will be willing to compromise? Asked a Chinese political scientist who spoke on the condition of anonymity to the newspaper. According to the Global Times, U.S. efforts to split Russia in order to increase its fluence in the uh, Eurasian space are triggering the worst possible scenarios for the armed conflict in Ukraine. In the U.S., some strategists really want to break up Russia to eliminate the danger it poses, although in Europe, what they want is simply its transformation. U.S. efforts to split Russia will lead to the worst case scenario of a Ukrainian 
conflict. Now they're talking about, I'm trying to find the article that I was going to do about Germany. Um, and I got to find that and do it later because Germany is also falling financially. And they're talking blackouts there and everything. Folks, again, I come on just to... Uh, give you the good news along with what's going on right now in the world. Now, this just came out too. One of my subscribers just sent this to me. A upcoming plant system outage. Now, this is supposed to take place in Australia. But remember, I've always said what happens abroad will make its way to the states eventually. It always does. Um, the only thing I can tell people to do right now is just to um, get saved, get in Christ. And again, those of you who are arguing with me about enduring till the end, I strongly suggest you ask the Holy Spirit to open up your eyes because that is not for the church. Our enduring to the end for the church ends when the rapture happens. Not during the tribulation. We're not in the tribulation. Um, quit telling people that we're in the tribulation. The seals have not opened. None of that has happened. Again, I reiterate that. We are not in the tribulation. The seals aren't open. The bowls have not been poured out. The judgments have not been poured out. None of that has happened. We're on the verge of the rapture of the church. The rapture is coming. And again, our endurance to the, our, let me put it like, our endurance to the end ends at the rapture. So that's not talking about the church, folks. That's talking about the tribulation saints and the Jews. I don't know how many times I got to reiterate that. But anyway, I'm going to link this article in the description box and I will be back later. Thank you.